Good morning, internet friends. This is Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. And today, I want to talk to you about a brand new feature that we've introduced in the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin that we make for Elementor and WordPress. Let's get started. So before I show you the actual features of the widget, I want to take us a few seconds to highlight what social sharing buttons can do for your website. So right now you see uh, a popular publication, Mashable India, they have social sharing buttons on their pages and posts, as you can see right here. And this allows users to share content on their own social media channels, bringing you referral traffic. Now, you might be one of those people who believes that social media traffic is an inferior source of traffic compared to maybe search engine traffic. But I want you to think about all the viral memes, the videos, and the viral articles that thousands and even millions of people have shared on social media. And specifically, you might have received many of those memes and viral videos on your phones because people are sharing them not only on social media, but also sharing them on private messaging applications like WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, and even iMessage. So everything that went viral on the internet became viral because millions and millions of people decided to share that content. Now, if you don't have any sharing buttons on your website, then what are people gonna do? Not share your content. But if you have social sharing icons on your website, then people are more likely to share your content. With this, I hope you understand the importance of having social media sharing buttons on your website. Let's get back to WordPress. So we're inside the magical world of WordPress and Elementor. And the brand new feature that we've introduced in Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor or UAE is a brand new social sharing widget. Now, this is a page that I've created inside Elementor. As you can see, it's a beautiful looking page. Now, I want to add a social sharing widget. If you've used Elementor, then you probably know that Elementor already has a social sharing widget, but it has some limitations. So what I'm going to do is add the social sharing widget from UAE to this page. I'll go to the search option, search for social. And the search results will show us the social icons from Elementor and also the social sharing widget from UAE. Let's import it to our page. And in just a few seconds, you have beautiful looking social sharing icons now added to your page. Let's look at all the options or the configuration options we have in this widget. The first and the basic option would be to add different kinds of social networks on the social sharing menu or inside the social sharing widget. By default, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn have been added already to the page but you have the option of adding more social networks or changing the existing buttons to a different social network. Let me show you how that's done. To add more buttons to the social sharing widget, we'll use the add item button. Once the button is added to the widget, now we can configure and choose a different social network to be represented by this button. We'll go to this drop down menu and you'll see all the different social networks that the UA widget or social sharing widget supports. We have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, VK, and a bunch of other options. We can also configure the social sharing buttons to let users share their articles or pages and posts via email, print them or share them on WhatsApp and also share them via Buffer, which is a popular social sharing and scheduling application. If you want to delete any of the buttons, all you have to do is click this cross icon and the button will be removed from the widget. You can also customize the existing buttons by clicking the options and you will see similar options that we just looked at in the other button options. Let's look at all the other options we have in this widget. Coming to the style options, we have the option of setting the style to icon and text, which is the current or the default configuration. But you also have the option of setting it to just the icon or just the text. Let me show you an example by choosing only the icon option. And you can instantly see the change here. For now, let's keep it to icon and text. With the icon and text option, you'll also have the option to choose the position of the icon. You can set it to before the text as it is right here. And also you can set it after the text. Also coming to the skin, you have a gradient option, a flat option, a framed option, a minimal option, and also a boxed option. Let's keep the skin to box as of now. Coming to the shape of the buttons themselves, we have options for square buttons, rounded buttons, and also circle buttons. Let's look at the next few options. So the next option is choosing the position of the social sharing buttons. The default option is inline, as you can see right here, but you also have the option of setting the position as floating icons. Now, the floating position is not a feature that is present inside the Elementor social sharing widget. It's only a feature that's available in the ultimate add-ons for Elementor social sharing widget. So if you want to have social sharing icons that follow you throughout the page or floating, then you should definitely use the ultimate add-ons for Elementor or UAE's social sharing widget. Let's look at the next option, which is the alignment of the buttons themselves. Right now, you can see the buttons are aligned to the left of the screen, but you can also set them to be aligned to the right of the screen. 
like this. With the floating position, you have the option of changing the vertical position as well as the horizontal position of the widget. Let me show you how that works. Right now I'm changing the vertical alignment. Let's set it to 25. And now I'll change the horizontal alignment. And this works fine. So with the alignment and position options, you have complete control over how you want and where you want the buttons to appear on the screen. When we explore the next set of options, you'll also be able to configure the spacing between the buttons themselves. So if you're worried about the buttons looking too close together, then that option is also available. We'll explore that in a second. First, let's explore the last option on the screen, which is the target URL. Currently, the target URL is set to the current page. That means whatever page the social sharing icons are placed on, that page will be shared when a user uses the social sharing icons. But you can also change it to a custom page. For example, if you would prefer users sharing only the home page of your website, you can set it to the home page of your website by using the custom option. And then from whatever page your users actually share the content, only the home page URL of your website will be shared on social media. With this, we've covered all the options inside the social share tab. Let's move on to the next tab, which is the share count. Inside the share count tab, you can toggle the visibility of the number of shares that your post has gotten. For example, you can see the current share count is set to no. That means it's disabled right now. Let me enable it. And now, as you can see on the screen, a share count is also visible just below the buttons and also a bunch of other options have opened up. So let's explore the options quickly. So the first option is showing a fake sharing count on your website. Let me open up the options first by enabling it and then I'll talk about how you can use it in a legitimate manner on your website. So the option for show fake count are now visible. And you can probably understand by the name of the feature what this feature does. If you didn't, let me explain. This feature shows a fake sharing count just below the social sharing buttons on your page. Now, the reason to add this feature is not to mislead your users into number of shares that you can show on the screen, but is to encourage users to share your pages. I assume that you already understand the impact of social proof. That is why you're adding the social sharing icons on your pages, right? So if your users see that your pages do not have any shares, they're less likely to share your content, even if the page content is good or they enjoy it. But if they see that some people have already shared this page on their social media, that will give them the confidence to share your pages as well. Once again, I'd like to emphasize that the option is not created or added to the widget to mislead your users, but to encourage them to genuinely share your content on social media. Let's talk about the options inside. The first option would be the number of fake shares that you can show. So currently it's set to 10, but you can set it to maybe 50. And you'll see the number of shares now updated on the screen. You can also set a fake count limit in this option. What this option will do is replace the fake social sharing count that you've placed on the screen with the actual social sharing count once a limit or this limit is reached. So currently, as you can see, the limit is set to uh, 10. So this means that once 10 people have actually shared your content, this social sharing count or the fake social sharing count will be replaced with the actual social sharing count. So my recommendation would be that if you intend to use the fake count option on your page or website, then you should also use the count limit or fake count limit option to make sure that only the genuine numbers of social shares are actually visible on your website after a certain period of time. Let's talk about the next option, which is the fetch share count from. So this is where we'll add the social networks that we want to count the social shares on. So what you can do is click this plus icon right here and you can choose the amount of social networks or the different kinds of social networks that you want to calculate the actual shares from. As you just saw me do, I configured Facebook and Twitter as the social networks of choice. So the actual number of social shares will be calculated on Facebook and Twitter. So it doesn't matter what buttons are actually present here. Only the social networks that I configured here will be used for the calculation to show the actual number of shares. So make sure that all the social networks that you have added to the buttons and even more if you intend to use it are also configured here. It's also important to note that for certain social media, for example, Facebook, you'll need to configure the API so that the actual social numbers can be fetched via the API. And as you can see the notice right here, you'll get a link that you can click and it will take you to a page where you can configure the API access so this social network or the social sharing on Facebook can be verified directly from the API. Coming to the next option, it is the style of the social sharing icon or the number of shares icon. So currently it's set to icon, but you can also set it to text. Let me change that and show you how it appears. And now as you can see, the icon is replaced with text, which says share. And you can also configure or change the text to say anything you like. Let's keep it to share for now. Coming to the size, you have the option of changing the size. Let's configure it. And now you can make it gigantic. 
This seems reasonable. Let's keep it at that. You also have the option of changing the text or the icon color. It's currently set to global colors, but you can change it to anything you like. For example, I just set it to a black color. You also have typography options, so you can change the typography or choose the fonts and different options to configure this or customize this option. You also have the option of customizing the alignment, so I can keep it center line, right line, or left line in respect to the social sharing icons themselves. So this concludes all the options that we have in the content section inside Elementor. Let's go to the style options and explore some of the other options or configuration options you have with the social sharing widget. So inside the style tab, we have options to configure the rows gap, button sizes, button heights, icon size, and border size, among other options. Let's quickly configure or check out these options and how they affect your social sharing buttons. The first option is the rows gap and which controls the spacing in between the buttons. Let me configure it or change it and show you how it works. Changing the row gap and as you can see the buttons start appearing a little bit distant from each other. So you can configure it uh, to the, your liking. Let's say this looks good to me. Let's keep it at that. You can also change the size of the buttons. You can make them really gigantic if you like. Obviously that doesn't work, look good. Or you can also make it reasonably sized something like this. You also have the option of changing button height. Again, you can make them really long, which doesn't work, but you can also keep it at the distance what you like. Something like this looks good to me. Coming to the icon sizes, obviously you understand what they do. You can change or make the icons really big, which doesn't look good, but you can just configure them so that they are very prominent on the screen. Coming to the border size, you can change this and now the border size will be, will be changed on the buttons themselves, which obviously doesn't work right now. But what you can do is just change it to something that you like. Let's keep it at two, which is the default value. Again, you have typography options. You can change the typography of all these options or the text that is displayed inside the button. So you can change the font family, the size of the font, weight, transformation, which means uppercase, lowercase. You can change the styling, decoration, and also change the letter, letter spacing. A lot of options to configure here. Again, coming to the color options. Now, as you can see, the social networks that we've added to this social sharing widget are Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And they're using their official colors for their social networks. But you have the option of actually configuring the colors. So you can choose custom colors. And now what you'll be able to do is change the primary and the secondary colors for this. So if you have a very specific kind of branding on your website and you want to include only certain colors on social sharing icons, you do have the option to do so. And you'll also be able to change the hover colors by coming to this option and changing the colors right here. For this example, I'll just keep it at the official colors. Coming to the last option inside the style tab is the hover animation. So we can give some animations to the button when we mouse over or we take a mouse and hover over the buttons themselves. Right now, as you can see, nothing is happening when I take my mouse over the buttons. So let's set a different kind of animation and see how it affects the buttons. So you have a lot of options to choose from, as you can see right here. But what I'm going to do is just choose a random wobble top feature and let's see how it affects the page. And now you can see the buttons are slightly wobbly and you can choose a lot of different options or different animations and you can experiment and you can try all of them out to see which one looks best for you. Let me show you one more example. Let's say I'll choose the float option. And now when I go to the buttons, you'll see the buttons slightly floating as my mouse goes over them. So now that we've explored all the options in the social sharing widget, let's look at the widget in action on a live page on the website. And I'll also show you how the page or how the sharing options appear when a user or actual visitor on your website clicks the sharing buttons. All right, so I've made some changes to the page, specifically to the social sharing icons. I've changed the theme, I've changed the hover animation, as you can probably tell. I've also changed the colors a little bit and also changed the fake social sharing icon or number that I talked about earlier. Now let's preview this page by clicking this icon right here. I already have it open on another tab. So I'll switch to a tab and we'll explore how the options or how the buttons appear on a live page and how also the social sharing windows appear to the end user. So we are on the live page on the website and the social sharing icons look beautiful. They are subtle and just hang over to the side of the page and they look amazing. And I'm sure that if you add this to your website, you'll get a lot of social shares for your blog content and obviously also the home page of your website. So let's open up the social sharing icons or click the social sharing icons and let's look at the windows that appear or how the share options will actually appear for end users. Let's start with Facebook. So the Facebook window took a couple of seconds to load, but this is what you will see or what your end users will see when they share something on Facebook. And if you've shared something on Facebook, then this window will probably look very familiar to you. You have the option to add a comment to the link you're sharing, specifically the link of the website. You also will see some meta information from the website, which is picked up by your website automatically. 
and you will see options to share it on the news feed control the privacy options you can make it public share it only with friends or selected few people or you can also add it to your story as well and once you click this button the story or the status or the link will be shared to your facebook account or specifically your users facebook accounts let's look at the next option which is twitter so for Twitter, the sharing options are quite simple. You'll just see the URL that you shared on the screen and it has a preview ID currently on this page, particularly because we're looking at a preview from Elementor. You also have the privacy options controls and they are the options that you usually see when you share anything on Twitter. It's pretty simple. The same goes for LinkedIn. Uh, you'll see familiar options if you have shared anything on LinkedIn and any other social networks that you add, you'll see familiar options or your users will see familiar options that they're used to seeing when they share anything on social media. So the process of sharing remains the same for them for every social media that you use on your website. So your users or your visitors will be very less resistant to sharing content from your beautiful website on their social media accounts. So that was the last option that I wanted to talk about in this brand new update for UAE, which includes this beautiful social sharing widget that you can use and I demonstrated right now. I hope you understood all the options that I demonstrated and also you enjoyed the video. If you did, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you have any questions about this social sharing widget or UAE in general, just leave them in the comments. If you are a UAE user, then make sure to update to the latest version of UAE today to get this brand new widget inside your website as well. And if you're not a UAE customer, then what are you waiting for? Head over to the website and purchase UAE for your website today. The links will also be added to the description of this video. And obviously, if you have any questions about UAE or this social sharing widget in general, leave them in the comments of this video. I'll answer every single one. You were listening to Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and have a great day.